it's not too bad. Yeah, settled for me a little bit. Bravery, yeah, duty, and commitment to the goals that define humanity at its finest. I do finest. forget how pretty the mantis is. The UE has a shade. It's really, really. Mm -hmm. Well, I think with the, we'll see it in a bit, the con new concept ship, it's the nods to sci-fi, isn't it? The, the, the nacelles on this one. Yeah, I do, I do love the ship. But it's a, it's a, it's a sewer Pacific ship, isn't it? Really? Side of the quantum dampening thing was the range. It just, and I don't think any of us have worked out how it would be useful because of the scale of the game. Yeah, ho hopefully, yeah. Um, or we may see larger ones with bigger dampening fields to pull people out of quantum. can rent it and try it out. I think it just gives you pretty much a crime state of where you use it. So. Yeah, oh, yeah, look at the map. Uh, do you want to do the hall off it? Because there's there'll be some of the smaller ships and then back into the main hall because the concept ships are below this room. See, we're, we're going to get to the um, Scorpius in a bit. New concept ship that's got everyone wet. But this is this is the ship. Yeah, now this is this is the absolute beast of the game. Oh, look yeah, at it. The best fighter. It looks me. Are, are you not seeing this one before, Leander? No, no, I've never had the chance. So I'm like a little oh. kid. Bristling, bristling yeah. with, with weapons. Such a nice line. It is beautiful, isn't it? Wow, it's so streamlined. I can't remember, is it, is it a two-seater? You can see where it's coming from. It's brought everything together. I remember last time we got, we got to look at them a bit closer, you could sit in the pilot seat before, but I can't remember if it did have a co pilot seat. remote turret on the top, but yeah, bristling the weapons. Oh, even the tips of the wing look folded, so that, that's, yeah, yeah. that's, um, a 
has to make sure it fits somewhere. I, I don't, it, it's very wide when you look at the models on like the fleet viewers and stuff like that that people have done. Um, but yeah, you'd kind of expect it to be able to go in the address because it's part. Of, we know it's part of the uh, Squadron Forty Two campaign. Yeah. So. I was just going to say that. Uh, uh, that's where your co-pilot. Yeah. It's a remote it's, at the top. Wow. It's got to be able to fit on the address. It's got to be there. Is there a seat back there? I can't get a seat. It's more than like the text of the trunks. Yeah, I think they move out and in. And you. I really, really like this. So, it's supposed to be a reward. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's supposed to be a reward for completing Squad 42, is what the general consensus is. And so, you either get to buy it in game then or get one as for leaving your service in the UEA. Um, just be civilian boot, Yeah, so, some, so, I mean, there's not really that much info. Some people have said it's. Um, like you'd have to complete the campaign in a certain way or, or something, but we'll have to wait and see on that. There's nothing confirmed. Well, I imagine it has to be you do everything for the UEA yeah. and eventually not finish it or betray them. Or, or I think I think it's on. I could go check, but I won't. I won't do now. I think it's ten thousand dollars in pledging. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a lot. Of it's quite a lot. Yeah. And then, and that's for the civilian version. And then I think fifteen thousand dollars pledging, you get uh, an executive skin one, so uh, black and gold. So not not massive rewards really for that kind of uh, pledge, but yeah, that's the only way currently. Um, and you can't fly long. And then this is exactly how much they Quite quite possibly, yeah. Uh, they've. We got to see them the first time last year from Victor's last year and everyone was going crazy because even on the trailers for it they show up doing like a display like the Red Arrows. Um, it, it's the, so in the law, the contract went up, they wanted a new uh, fighter essentially to deal with the Vandal threat and this was the one that won all the, the contracts so the Sabre came out of that, I think it was another one. Uh, but the animal. Uh, it's not been mentioned, yeah, that, that's a, a separate. Actually, the, there's one other in the law, because the same is relatively new, uh, was which was an RSI one, uh, which was the rumours coming out before we knew it was the Scorpius. There's a there's one called the Black Widow that was our size um, thing, but yeah, we'll see what they do with the law whether they change that a little bit because the new one's a heavy fighter as well, isn't it? It's a class. Yeah. What, what's this one the, no, the, yeah, have you yeah. those guns? The, the classes generally is by what its purpose is, not necessarily... Uh, so, so, for fighters, it's the weapons they carry. Or the, the damage that they can do with class it as heavy. Um, same with like the cargo, the heavy cargo one is because it can carry... Ex you know, it could be the same size as something else, but it just carries loads of cargo. The thing is, I mean, how, how many weapons have you got on it? Uh, so that's one, two. It's got six. Uh, that's the turret on top. Yeah, six plus the turret on top. Six plus the turret. Plus. But it looks like there's a size two, and then two size threes. Plus, uh, plus missiles as well. Yeah, well, just beside on the, uh, behind the pilot. Yeah. Oh, on, on, on the anvil day, they might have them out where you can actually uh, walk around on, uh, on the display. It's quite low profile as well for the size, but yeah, it, it was to do with some uh, fighting, some Vandal heavy fighters, so yeah. I wonder if it's low profile and it's sleepless and everything is, so it's harder to see on, um, on radar and stuff. Well, I still think it's big. It looks like a mixture of Vandal and Vandal. Okay. Why do you think it's low profile? 
this is the media on my way to show some on my when there's all holes in the wings and stuff. Just be that kind of pop. Got some shit. Alright, should we maybe we can yeah, stay here for Yeah. Oh, they're flyable. Yeah, they are. That, that's the crazy thing. These are flyable because we were able to steal them last year. Which way was it? Oh, it's this way, guys. Yeah, this way. Yeah. United in purpose. Hello, big daddy. Oh, these are pretty cool. I'm not following Alf without you, brother. Hey, he's doing a dance move. No, that, that's what he, they do. Sorry, like, carry mind about it. Oh, here's, here's your oath. Hey, that's, that's, that's one we could do. We could think of one for honour when you, as you board the javelin for the first time. Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. I like the flight suit. I want that bloody flight suit. Yeah. Oh, okay, so that's the way you can walk around. Yeah, that flight suit's pretty cool. Real cool. Is this the one where it changes? It has the interchangeable. That's, uh, that is interesting because it's just like the chess piece, isn't it? But yeah, flight suits, that's going to come into play soon with this physicalized inventory stuff. Oh, old man, what was the link? What did you want the link for? Sorry. Uh, your stream. Oh, okay. One second. Yeah, we're building up, we're building up. Like the Titan. Uh, the, the Titan's very surprising. You can, um, for what the uh, damage output you can do in that. But yeah, combat, combat in style. He's got armor on. No! Yeah, no. <laughs> we can beat him with numbers. 
can't slide down this again where So it can it. it can be a shuttle. <laughs> Over here. We should have shut the door and then wait for someone to come up and then they'll all just leg it out. <laughs> yeah, we'll go around. So 300 series TikTok. So this one does yeah. do a little bit of cargo, but um, yeah, how important that'll be down the road. I think I think it's handy to have a small ship though. There'll be yeah, certain areas I think it's just a better fighter, but it, it, it can do most... It's, it's just like the jack of all trades really, isn't it? You can fit a little bit, of, you know, a few little bits in there. It's really nice, you get a nice little coffee machine if you buy the extra pack. Uh, you've got really good weapons set up, it's very stable in all your atmosphere flights, and it, it packs a real uh, punch. Uh, everything that you technically need, isn't it? You can, it the ship can provide for you because oh, of the definitely. eating. Yeah. Sleeping and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, great start, yeah. These these should be. So the Mustang is it the Mustang Delta or Alpha? Um, but the, these should be good start ships. There is um, an area behind that seat, so for box running, little missions, and combat great. But you, but the, it's been bugged for ages, and you can't. What happens is you sit in the seat. It's supposed to be a, a bit like the Avenger tire when you get in front of the front. And you can just turn around and then be in that area but yeah I don't I'm not actually yeah. sure it's supposed to work on all variants of the um, Mustang but I mean, you, can, you can see it there. An area like that on the exploration area. Well there's an area like it on here right behind you. Yeah, so yeah. Out of I all of them, the one that actually smaller. surprised me of all the Mustangs was the was it the Gamma? Me and Darth were doing trying to figure out which ship was the fastest. Yeah. And was there. My God, that Gamma! It's fast. It's ridiculously fast. They they show so a lot of the concept stuff for Bengals uh, uh, show these as if it's like a training fighter. I mean, it's capable anyway. Um, because, yeah, we used to look at them because the wings were all funny and try and guess the ship, but it's these. But it, to learn all your basics. Yeah, and it's just a shame because it's, um, like, visually it looks a good ship. And, and it is. It does combat really well for as a starter ship. Um, but so many people get that because of the looks and everything and then can't do these little missions because this interior bit doesn't work. You're supposed to be able to carry boxes up the... Uh, thing, but yeah, they've just never got around to fix it. Well, you might even have a training thing, might we? I mean, we talked about it for the bigger ships, but that actually even the fighters, if we're, as an org, buying multiple fighters for people to use, we might even have a you-need-to-learn-to-fly thing. Well, yeah. we mentioned how, how that, uh, that Mustang's going to be very important for the Javelin, but let's not forget the MPUV. That's going to be unbelievable. Um, yeah. Because that's, that's what's going to bring all your resources in. You it, know? it raises loads of questions because I think I think the uh, um, off the top of my head it's a couple of thousand cargo on um, uh, the javelin say but the the Argo cargo one does something like four SCU so uh, yeah there's some answers or how efficient this thing is um, you get one so the address as well yeah, your small stuff, and I think that'll come in. That'll come into play at some point, where it's actually small, high-value uh, cargo or components for something. Um, there's well, a I, personnel I, one. I mean, I, I think it might be a case uh, with this that it, it might tour like a, a trailer sort of thing with all uh, the commodities on. Do you know what I mean? It's essentially just a crane, and, and the, the the bit in the undercarriage is just a pod, and there's different pods. So there's a cargo pod. It's supposed to be able to lift other boxes, uh, which I think was down for um, some of the whole series at one point for helping loading them. So you'll just 
yeah, fly it over, hook it up and, and move it. Um, it also has a personnel uh, pod, so the seat's about six. Um, yeah, and, and the actual pod is an escape pod on some of the big ships, so in the event of there's an abandoned ship, jumping the escape pods go out and then the, the Argos are they're supposed to be a search and rescue variant, but um, essentially you can come and pick those escape pods up and put them back in the, you know, take them back to a ship, recover the personnel. Is it Argo that makes the SCV as well, the towing rig? SRV, yeah. Oh, that's on, that's on uh, pledgeable today as well. Oh, great. And it will go up in price, so that that's not a bad one just to do a cheeky CCU to uh, digress. These fly really horribly, and they did have a they have had a pass on them because we know they feature in Squadron 42, and some of the styling on the engines changed recently. Um, they still fly really badly though. Uh, no quantum yeah, think, drive, yeah. I think there might be a reason for that, is because they they don't want people taking advantage of them, maybe. But the, the physicalised cargo and stuff like that, we don't have the big ships yet uh, to do that type of cargo loading. And yeah, actually loading your cargo and stuff like that is it's a little way off, isn't it? Yeah. Until we actually see these being um, handy. Oh, that's, that raises the question, how many... Yeah, because you could fit a trolley in the back, couldn't you? Yeah. Grab a trolley. Run it through the back, and then you know that's that's your first load. Take them all. Next, um, uh, Argo. Um, then, yeah. I think they use um, they use one on the uh, vertical squad 42 vertical slice YouTube video, the hour of gameplay that they did from what 2016. So it's years old now. They use one of these as a prisoner transport. You see it briefly. Yeah. Same with the trolleys, or uh, Charlie trying to load some of the trolley unless it kills you. Yeah, but that, I mean they're working on these issues. Oh yeah, I know, I know. There's um, wasn't it? I, I can't remember which one it was, but one of the Star Trek movies at the start, they take a little shuttle up to the Enterprise with Kirk and that in it. And it's quite a, quite an iconic kind of shot. And I always thought with some of our bigger ships. Um, like the Idris or the Kraken or the Javelin, it would be cool to do one of these in a little shuttle, isn't it? Pile in the back, just be looking out the little window as we come up to the ship. Rumor has for that, it, for that can, first time. Rumor has it, if you can throw your can of pop through this hole, where <laughs> yeah. it says, Argo or Aeronautics, you get all their ships for free. But they, they, so, so the Javelin and Idris both have a, a dedicated Argo bay underneath them, um, and I don't know which way round it is because one of them has the personnel. I'd like to think it's the Javelin has the personnel one because that would make a bit more sense. Um, it just has the cargo, but well, you uh, the, the, the the pods are interchangeable, so it doesn't really matter. But I was going to say with the Javelin not have pods because obviously they're still going to be. Yeah, it, 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 it has a dedicated bay for one, which is separate to its hangar, uh, and the same with the Idris. It's under, if you look at the Idris model, I think I don't can't remember if you can see it on the Javelin one, but the Idris model, you can go underneath it and actually see, it says uh, Argo Bay. Oh, right. yeah. Might have to go check that out later on tonight or something, or maybe tomorrow. Yeah, shall we move on to the next one then, boys? Yeah, we're back in the hall. Be cool. They have done a good job. We, we said this last time we toured. Um, these, as exhibition halls, they have done a really good job. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Like, I've, I've never actually managed to get to one, which is a dying shame, really. But, you know. I, I, I will say that uh, this year, I have done a lot more with the holes than what they did last year, if you know what I mean. Yeah, have you seen the skybox above the FA? Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? I'd like that to be painted on my roof, because... <laughs> yeah. No, I must say, it would be ceiling. Because that... that no, 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 it has to be the roof. My, my friend did it for his daughter with something like a thousand little... Um, uh, oh, oh, what is it? Uh, uh, Fibre things. <laughs> 
sporty stuff. Our favourite object. Yeah, yeah, with a light with it, and uh, and it took him days to, uh, to do it. And I remember popping around and showing, hey, I'm doing like this like for it. This is awesome. I was like, oh, cool. Did you do any star signs or constellations? You went, oh, crap. No, <laughs> <Like>, just. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, he'd still be doing a new few steam. Yeah, yeah. So the Phoenix, right, so this is a rare Phoenix. one. Mm. Well, the Phoenix still has a car on me. Yeah. <laughs> so, so one of, the, I mean, the, this was a, this is early on as a, um, they labelled it as a, and it's on the little description here, it can be operated as an organisation command ship, features a luxurious redesigned interior. Um, it does have a few unique things on it, but it's a luxury RSI. The command ship stuff, we don't know yet. We think it's something like the hollow things on the Idris or the, uh, or that we see on the Carrick or the Javelin. Where, when that gameplay comes in, you're commanding or sending instructions or missions to multiple ships in your fleet. Quite a big cargo bay and, and really good use of the space because if you look if you look at it to the well we'll see another constellation in a minute. It the walkway would be just above our heads here that you walk around. Um, I mean they did have to adjust it a bit but Yeah, it's smaller than the normal I can't remember where the button is for the lift. Oh, it's because the lift was up. This will be like airport. <laughs> yeah. So it, so one of the one of the kind of features of this, and I, I've got to be careful I remember it correctly, but it's supposed to come with a grand piano, and uh, it, all the keys work was a, was one of the gimmicks with it, but it's not yeah, it's not here. Where the, this command and control bit would be, but. As a multiplayer ship, it gives you it gives you everything, doesn't it? You can take a vehicle with you, um, see on the cargo. Playing cards on the table. <laughs> I, have to say, I yeah. like these. I like these kind of passenger with uh, seats on the window. Down there, get back in that box. In that box. I think it is like a truly. Um, it is like a really nice uh, transportation, isn't it? Yeah. And it's like it's like watching the peasants fight each other over resources. Fine. And then we've got the Aquila, which is the exploration one. The, the Phoenix has some areas where you can, uh, that are not scannables for smuggling and stuff, which is interesting.
is it either cocaine, so that's why. <laughs> yeah. If you're hiding your cocaine, you're not really rich enough. How am I ended up here? That's what the A9 is for. The, the, Aquila, yeah. the Aquila keeps the bottom turret, doesn't it, on the front? It just has the scanning. The top yeah. turret changes the scanning, yeah. Otherwise, it's pretty much the, the same, just that little trick. Yeah, the, 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 the old different glasses, yeah. in my opinion, better than this picture. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. But I think as a increased fuel tank as well. Oh see, yeah, crap you load of missiles. You can see them cycle as you use the spam missiles. The, this missile operator mode is going to be interesting because um, I think this is going back a little while, but they said with missiles, if you've got two missile racks, then you can fire two missiles in one volley. If you've got one missile rack, well, you can only fire one at a time. It, it was, there's some logic to it. But this one opens up and can literally launch all missiles at once. I'm pretty sure they're going to limit that. But um, yeah, you're going to be able to volley the shed load of ordnance. It's a good ship. Yeah. 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 So what? Four size four gimbaled um, pilot, or two size five? Yeah. And two size four plus turrets. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, up, like. Hello, Hey, yeah. It's going to be interesting how it pans out in terms of the hierarchy because it's strict—it's not strictly a full-on military ship, is it? Um, but this is the good ship variant of the constellation in terms of where it sits with armor. Um, but it's a capable ship, and I think I think some of these will actually see more use of because once armor comes into play, they're not. Fragile. Yeah, yeah, they're actually in a pretty bad place. But what's that armor? Yeah, it's not like that. Yeah, it's not like that. Yeah, it's not like that. Have you all tried the docking? Yeah. Yeah. So the little snub fire at the back. Yeah. So the, the, the way I see the Andromeda is kind of like the next step up from. Yeah. A, a, a versatile yeah. multi crew ship. So you, 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 you upgrade from Aurora to Avenger to Cutlass to Com. Yeah. I haven't got there any docking at all. This be a bit like a patrol one. Is this the, is this the LN Aurora? Is this yeah. the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the one that doesn't go on sale very often, is it? Yeah, yeah, so it's kind of a rarity, if that makes sense. Yeah, but most of the other ones that are here are kind of all right. It's fine, but it's basically the top one. Yeah, the top one. The Alpha, out of. So these are obviously two starting packages, aren't they? You've got the Aurora or from the. Have a. Have a. Have a close look and see if those wings fold out. Maybe they never told us something. Uh, Can I imagine that just, yeah. Hey, all you guys that thought the Aurora was rubbish and didn't bother with it. Uh, it's now an X-Wing. It's not, it's not bad for a, a, a very cheap basic star or ship. This, this was, was um, for a ten this was the top combat ship at one point for little fighters. It, it's really yeah. capable for what it is. I can't remember the exact weapon load out of it. Yeah, it's not
Right, shall we? Uh, yeah, two size two, two top. size ones, four size. Wait, is it four size four this time? Yeah, yeah, that's not fun. Yeah, Dan says. Oh, we're streaming the tour of the uh, expo. Uh, flip. Very, a very laggy tour. And, and this stand here is the new invisible armor. Yeah. Four yeah. 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 Several people have already uh, walked into it. Come in this last year, man. These are the, these are their names. I mean, it, this is still quite a good Viag as well. The Ursa Rover. Yeah, the Ursa Rover is extremely versatile. It, it could be more, in my opinion. Uh, it could be a it could be a fortuna. Rovers still need a little bit. Of, we know vehicles are going to get into the rework uh, or, or a bit more work later on in the year. Um, but again, when armors come into play and when we get more hazardous environments and stuff like that, the, the rover's really going to shine. Yeah, especially like pyro and stuff like that. And, and cargo. So, so they've alluded to this with some of the Q&As on the ships where uh, there might be certain areas that you can't fly to, but it's a cargo thing, you've got to go and pick something up, and uh, yeah, you could run it, um, or take a vehicle, um, so this is one of the few vehicles that can actually take cargo, I think, yeah, I'm sure it's got a cargo bridge, you can definitely put boxes in there, yeah, you can, you can, and, and a little person, it's like a mini APC as well, so, what, four seats in the back, so six people, I mean, you get a bulk, I think it's five, you can get more, but it's five officially in the If we do, if we go right, I'll follow you, mate. And hopefully it's the same order it was the last time we've seen it. G twelve A. So this is the the. Oh, actually, I don't think it's strictly a military one, but it's used uh, for military. Mine's military. Mine. Haha. We have a talk now. Are they asking to what am I up to? So missile, missiles on this one, um, a bit of uproar because the standard one got the turret. <laughs> they've, they've talked about changing, um, changing tyres and stuff like that as, as part of your customizations, which will be interesting. So, yeah, you, I don't know, um, maybe some of them don't wear as much or better grip or...
but what what will be interesting with these would be um, all right, you've got your missiles, but ideally, if you're doing an ops and you're using them, uh, you're, if let's say we use the Herc to take them down and then go out in them, the Herc's the staging area, isn't it? So you're going to have to bring their supplies. I think someone said this before with some of the like, yeah, we can get X amount of glitches in the ship, and you're thinking, yeah, it sounds good, but when you got to supply all the extra torpedoes that you might be using as well. You just haven't got the space. But even with the herd, that extra space, I don't think you're going to cram it and jam everything in. I think the extra space will be still for like one or two. Or maybe you can use it for that because it'll be part of it uh, down the road. It's not going to be a false tiny little box and you get these big missiles out of. They'll be that size. I noticed the other day with these, and there's a. Um, I'm trying to think of the shape. So, uh, either side of the hangar, so it's no matter what side you're sitting on, there's like some like panel thing that looks like it folds out. If you can see that, uh, it doesn't have that point on the screen. But, um, it, it reminds me of the Herald. The Herald's got bits that fold, fold out for scanning or intercepting data. Um, now it looks like they fold out. I, I doesn't mean it is that, but um, there's a lot. There's a bit few unknowns with this shit. Um, but it's interesting that it looks like it can do that. It's not just a panel, is it? Um, there, oh, there's some panel. Yeah, yeah. mechanism there. It could just be an intake, it's like an air brake, it could be that, but that seems weird. I'm, I'm standing at now. Um, you can see the shape of it as well. I think it's, it's also. Did you say it's got a med bay? It's got a ramp, yeah, med bay, so it's one of the most. They described it as a as relatively new ship, and RSI are very good. So, so part, I mean, we're way off this, but the MPC crew and keeping them happy, it's got all the recreation facility, recreational facilities that should mean that, yeah, if, you, if you're, I guess, levelling an MPC crew or something like that, this, this is a great ship for it. Yeah, yeah, happy crew. Maybe those flaps just open up, isn't it? And it just launches it in space yeah, and goes. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, th there's like, bits we don't know. It will be. Um, it'll be interesting to see because obviously they'll be doing this missile operator mode. I'd like to think that they're they're planning in advance because 
um, torpedoes and stuff. And the Polaris was on the road map, wasn't it? It just got to half. this flap here, um, uh, so you see where the cockpit is, yeah. if you imagine you sort of symmetrically divided that by two so you can top half and bottom half, the top half there's a flap that opens like towards where you're headed. You are you imagining you know, that space in the back the behind the cockpit, that's where it's been. I think if, if we were just looking at the constellations, they're a good leap up when there's a couple of you and um, you know a group, a group of people that play together. This is then stepping it up a little bit more. Um, but I think uh, with all the different types of ships you get, sort of, sort of, like you, you'll be more for a small org or something like that. They'll be more than happy. There'll be plenty of things to do with something like this. Or, or with bigger, there'll be lots. Lots more things to do, like formation, flying polarises everywhere. Please enjoy your day. Yeah, this is going to be a big ship. Moving on to the next one. You do wonder, because that's higher up the chain technically than the uh, and size than the Perseus yeah. and the Hammerhead. Um, but it doesn't, but yeah, it's supposed to be an anti capital hit and run, um, so it's necessary for the sustain uh, for it. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it fares against fighters and stuff like that. Yeah, well, uh, it, it needs to be in tandem with the Perseus, doesn't it? Really? Yeah. Well, yeah. Because Perseus and Hammerhead yeah. have Uh, Taurus. Yeah. So, I mean, this, this is old now. People have been waiting it for for a long time, and it kept getting um, parked because it's something that shouldn't. Well, you kind of think it would be that complicated to do, but it's a, it a whole change because they had to make it bigger to fit the cargo capacity. It's the hauler version of the constellation. It just took ages. <laughs> Oh, like a thing. Yeah, th yeah, so this one, this one, like the Phoenix, is supposed to have areas that you can hide stuff that can't be scanned for smuggling as well. Some, some, someone was saying something to do with jettisoning the cargo as well as some feature. And I think some, I don't think it's armed, but I'm trying to see if it's a weapon. Um, because it's like a bare bones version, it's just mainly cargo, but it does have some point defense stuff. Yeah, that is. Yes, then. 
next one. Oh, no, next one is the conception. Yeah, I just mentioned it. Oh, yeah. Look at the size of those. I think they described it as a sub-capital killer, but, but, but um, you know, I mean, of course you could use it against something bigger, it's got four side sevens, um, it's supposed to be quite tanky. Yeah, so it is different from the Polaris in that this is decidedly sub-capital ship. I do think this is going to have a hell of a lot of armor. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's my understanding. If you if you went in the turrets on the and we'll all get an opportunity to over the fleet lead to sit on the javelin turrets and you'll see what big turrets are like moving because um, they are a bit sluggish. But yeah, you, I think some of these ships you're going to be you want good pilots, um, good coordination with your gunners because they're going to have to line you up. And we, we said it earlier, some of the bigger ships, look, the, the constellations, when armour comes into play, we need, we're missing that sustain because they've got to go in and take damage to do damage well um, because people need those shots. So it'll be interesting. But yeah, uh, Hammerhead is your anti fighter screen, and then this is your anti other ship screen. Yeah, I do think this is going to be. I've really, really liked this ship. <laughs> yeah. already have the Polaris, if that helps. Yeah, so I, I'd be leaning more towards the Polaris. I think, I think, I think there's a few yeah, Perseus, Perseus in the fleet. Yeah, yeah. Um, sorry, I haven't heard But there's a side dock as well. Well, yeah. I I, 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 it's just the one side, apparently. So, I think it's, so it's got a lift, it can fit a rover or cargo. Um, I always saw this as a patrol thing, so like boarding or. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what it looks like. It looks we'll have like to see. Interesting when the time comes, kind of how they use. Do you keep them as your fleet defence for your big ships? Uh, I think the Idris and the Railgun, as an example, the range on it, or even the Javelin. And when we were in Xeno Threat and it was fighting the, the two Idrises, the range that it was doing, um, you know, these can whiz in uh, or they can you know, stay back and defend that ship from other things that might be going to kill it. Um, it'll be interesting to see how we use them and how they fit in a, a kind of fleet defence or a fleet uh, makeup. We, we, we've got a couple of these. I think the only thing we're maybe lacking on is the hammerheads, the anti-fighter screen, but uh, I think it's got anti-torp stuff and that anyway. Fighter's going to be odd, especially when armour comes in, because some of them might not hurt these because the armour. They might be able to pick the shields, but they might never even get through the shields. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, to be honest with you. I, don't, I think this is going to be quite the thing to arrive in. Um, in order to destroy one of these, you'd have to have you know, a few eclipses or something. Yeah, and uh, uh, Ares. Ares Eclipse. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. 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 yeah, I can see this, you know, if, if we're on a fleet battle, we're going to be I could see this being the uh, ship that goes on into, you know, in, 
this is like, right, follow me, guys. I'm going to be more Jenkins. It, it's got potential for that uh, sweet spot in cost uh, as well and running costs where you know, we, we, we're nowhere near kind of talking the doctrine or hey right we want to uh, our combat fleet to Perseus fleet um, you know, for, for, for just going out and dueling out people but yeah it, it's um, it's going to be interesting I do think this is going to fill a big gap though uh, I really do yeah. It'll be part of the fall on group. Uh, I, I really, really, I'm looking forward to this coming game. In fact, I mean, the Perseus is what December or something? Uh, sorry, Polaris. It, it was. I think they've took it off now, so it's not. It's, it's supposed to be coming back, but um, the, I think they said it's taken off, but we're just trying to decide where it sits and everything. It could be taken off, and they're going to surprise us because there's some unknowns on the progress tracker. Yeah, there's some pretty big unknown, uh, uh, unannounced. Yeah, I can't see them releasing just one capital ship. I think they'll be like a couple. Yeah. I, I think they'll release it together with the official. Yeah, you need Polaris to count on you. I was going to say that, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, all, it's, all, it's all well and good saying all this, but it's just speculation. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Cool. Maybe uh, I, I, I could probably stay looking at this for a bit longer because that bridge as well looks cool. It's just a nice, it's a nice ship. Yeah, I think the, the concepts of this show some material. Right, next one. Oh, hey guys, it's me and the next one. <laughs> what did we say as well? The Star Fury. Yeah. Babylon 5, Star yeah. Fury. So the loadout's been confirmed now as. So the stock loadout is uh, four size two gimbaled on the wings, uh, four size three on the turret. Uh, so, you, so you can have four size three fix on the wings, so that's total of what the most DPS would be eight size three, which is decent. I can see this being quite manoeuvrable as well. So yeah, it's a real... two seater, yeah. If you've got a good co pilot with you, oh, you're laughing. I was going to say earlier because we know we know we've got the missile operator next patch, and it looks like scanning might be tied in with that as well. So missile operator, if you're piloting a single seat ship, is you, you have to make a choice. I'm either going to fire my missiles and you switch to that mode, or my weapons. You can't be doing both at the same time because of whatever gameplay or, or is involved in it. Um, which means having a co-pilot. You can shoot and fire missiles. Um, maybe advantage, maybe not. Um, so yeah, co-pilots might come in more handy. Even at the point when you can AI blade it, you still flying solo are going to be slightly handicapped because you've got to switch between those two modes uh, and possibly scanning and you know, whatever else comes out in the future but so I think co-pilots are going to be really handy in the future if you get a good co-pilot um, as in a human one uh, AI turret gunners this year so possibly AI blades with it uh, so NPC turret gunners um, but still you're going to have to tell him what to shoot and isn't it? Fire a missile at that, or giving him some form of instructions, which take you away from fighting. So, so two-man ships actually Welcome will have, I think, a bigger benefit than what they do now. All of the vehicles you see on the display are this year's additions to the fleet. With the expanding nature of operations throughout the system, just yeah, splits that multitasking up. Yeah, the scanner guy can be going. There's three other guys coming in. We need to bail that you wouldn't notice. Uh, if you're, you know, just focusing the fight. When that's all in anyway, I mean, things like the uh, Herc are going to be very painful to go on the games. Yeah. Because you've got right, all your uh, turret uh, gunners, okay. you've got... Uh, right, Nikai, nice gunners. one. Oh, catch you a bit, Nikai. Th this was the last ship anyway on the tour, so well done, you made the whole yeah. thing. That's through it all. Right, there. The UEE Navy Origin Triple Works 
Uh, they confirmed in the Q&A that it does fit in the Polaris as well. We can go and find we can go and find the javelin um, and jump on board that while we're all together. Uh, I'll give you a part of the for a second, mate, because uh, well, I'll jump on your ship if that's alright. I'm gonna quickly. Um, yeah, let's say we could all go on one ship. Uh, 